Alright, hi guys. Um, so this is a no uh, video to set up your composition notebook. Remember, it must be a composition graphing paper notebook. I purchased this one from Staples. It has 100 sheets in it. If yours has less than 100 sheets, please go ahead and buy a new one. Um, also, sorry for the wacky camera. I'm holding my phone and doing this, so forgive me. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, open up your notebook to your very first page. Your very first page, what you're going to do is you're going to start by counting three boxes down and drawing a horizontal line across. So three boxes from the top, horizontal line. You're going to write table of contents there, and then in the corner you're going to write T1. T stands for table of contents, so you know that's your first page for the table of contents. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to count four boxes from the inside and then draw a line down, write page at the top because this is where you'll write your page numbers. On this side, you're going to count four boxes from the outside, draw your line going down, and you're going to write date. Every single time we add something to the table of contents, you need to write the date that you um, worked on that page. Go ahead and flip it. We're setting up this page and this page the exact same way. So just like we did on the front, we counted three boxes down, four boxes, four boxes. That's how these pages should look. If you at any time need to stop the video and go back, obviously go do that. Um, in this corner right here, it is T2. This one right here is T3. And once you have these two page sets uh, set up, you should have three total pages of table of contents and you're done with table of contents. Go ahead and flip. Now we're starting the actual pages of our notebook that we're going to write in all of the details, okay? So this is the actual start of your information. So what you're going to do is on this left-hand side, left-hand side pages are always going to be odd numbers. So this is page number one. Notice I went, I have a, I kind of like a header box and I have like space around the side. How do you set that up? You're going to count two boxes from the very top. You're gonna count two boxes from the side and two boxes from the edge. In the top right-hand corner, you're gonna write the page number. Page numbers always go on the outer corner. So on this side, it goes on the top right. On the left-hand side, it goes on the top left. Page numbers are always on the outside. Why? So that when you're flipping through your notebook, you can easily find your pages, okay? Just like that, okay? Alrighty, so um, go ahead and set this up. Again, two boxes, two boxes, two boxes. Don't write anything on the edges. I will tell you what they are for when we come into class. You are going to spend the most of your time now writing page numbers. So um, this very first page, right behind my table of contents, so there was the last page of table contents, flip it. This is page one. Right hand side is page two, flip. This is going to be page three. Again, you're drawing two boxes, two boxes, and two boxes. Every single page needs to have this set up. Every single one of them, okay? So page three, ignore that. This is page four. Again, it has the boxes all around it, page four. Notice right here, I did not put page number seven in the corner. Why? It saves you time to just write the even side. So instead of writing, oh, I'm sorry, not seven. I didn't write page five. Instead, I just wrote six in the top corner. So my notebook goes like this. Here's four, here's six. I left five blank. I know it's page five because page six is on this side, okay? So to save you some time, just go ahead and label the even numbers, um, and but don't forget every single page, left and right, needs this border on it, okay? And again, here's page seven. I left page seven blank in the corner. I just wrote page eight, but every page needs the header. Um, we'll talk more about this when we come into class. I want you to label your pages up to page 50. So get your table of contents done, Get your pages labeled up to page 50 and every page should have those borders around it. See you in class.